everybody, what is up? Kim Lenga from Emerge Fitness, and today I am here to talk about this thing right here. So it looks like, I already cut into it, it looks like a big old potato. Does anybody know what this is? This is a little gem that I discovered when my husband and I were in Mexico. I was actually on a fitness vacation exchange. Um, what is a fitness vacation exchange? Well, I'm crazy enough. I work out when I go on vacations, that's what I do. And I discovered um, Fitness Vacation Exchange, and it allows me to go over and teach fitness classes, which I'm gonna work out anyway. And in exchange, they provide a week of accommodations, all inclusive and great resorts for myself and my husband. So a few years ago, um, I started doing this, I think actually in 2016, I've met a lot of great people. I have one person that I talk about all the time. Her name is Cindy. Um, great, great, um, transformation story we met in Mexico she was on a girls trip I was there on fitness vacation and we met uh, we followed each other on Facebook and then when the crud hit she began working out with me online so it's been a love story ever since she's had again an incredible transformation and I just introduced her to the world of health and um, I coach a lifestyle approach. I don't coach fad diets. There's no magic pill potion or formula out there. What I do and what I teach is hard work. Um, so anyway, I discovered on vacation this and it is a jicama. Never heard of a jicama before. Never would have ordered it, asked for it. However, when in Mexico, you want to do what they do, right? And I wanted to eat guacamole and chips and I wanted to, um, you know, have the, have the fun stuff. However, I didn't want to overeat, right? Because I'm still on, you know, a vacation exchange. I'm a fitness instructor. I wanted to still eat healthy. I mean, I still had my chips, but I didn't have to have a lot of them. So I asked the server one day, I really wanted guacamole. And I said, do you have vegetables that you can serve like carrot sticks and celery? And he said, oh yeah, yeah, we can do that. And he brought out like these sticks, these little white sticks. I'm like, what are they? I knew what they were and I didn't ask, but I was eating them and they're really good. And they're sweet. I thought was, I, I fell in love. So, oh my gosh. And so I finally asked, I said, what is it? Well, jicama. Hmm. Never knew. So you learn something new every day. So I'm just going to tell you some health benefits um, of jicama. And again, this was all unbeknownst to me. Never knew. Never knew about jicama. Great tips. Okay. It supports your bone. So it, it, has, it enhances uh, your mineral retention. So it's going to help support your bone, right, um, from any of the minerals escaping. So that's one benefit. The other it is going to help in your digestion. It is a fantastic source of prebiotic fibers. So, um, you know, we have, um, you hear of probiotics, right? Probiotics are in there to help fight against the bad um, gut bacteria in your, in your body, in your gut. Prebiotics actually feed the probiotics so that they will actually do what they need to. Just like we need to feed our bodies, right, for energy to do what we need to do. Um, probiotics need prebiotics to do what it needs to do. So it has a great source of prebiotics. This little thing here is a vegetable, okay? And it is a starch. It is a carbohydrate, okay? So um you know people fear the carbohydrate and i say no carbs are good matter of fact i have these are all carbs right here and this is a carb right here this is a starchy carb it's very very low on the glycemic index and why is that important well that's going to help you sustain some nice level um blood levels right so anytime carbs are not the enemy um the wrong kind of carbs can be the enemy particularly if you um have diabetes if you are pre-diabetic, if you have a family history of diabetes, like I do, I'm Native American, I have a family history of um, diabetes. So to me and for me, this is really important and I have a very high sensitivity to carbs. So I want to look for foods that are gonna be low on the glycemic index. Thus, this is why you see what you see here, right? This is something that is very low on the glycemic index. So that means that I can eat this and it's going to give me, you know, just a great choice um, for me uh, with sustaining blood sugar levels. So I'm not gonna eat that bad carb that might make my blood sugar spike and then drop. Um, so the, the unique 
fiber um, that's in here, that probiotic fiber, it really helps with the growth of the good bacteria, right? Again, we're looking for that good bacteria to like uh, fight against the bad bacteria in the body. This is a great source of vitamin C. So these are all just, you know, some of the health benefits that you get out of um, eating jicama. So this is what it is. This is what it looks like. I do, um, I have seen, I have not made the, them yet, and I may, um, that you can season these and put them in an air fryer or even on a baking sheet and bake them in the oven. But it does, it really looks like a big potato and you can peel the skin with just a knife, a paring knife or a big old knife like I have here and peel it like that. If you um, get a good chunk of it, you can even rip it off with your hands and start peeling it this way. Um, you can use a potato peeler if you want, absolutely fine. But once you get it peeled, then you can go ahead and start dicing it up in like little french fry strips and these are going to be a healthy source right of a great low glycemic carb that is good for you that you can eat and you know potatoes um they get a bad rap potatoes are a carb and people want to avoid the potato but a potato really isn't bad either it is a starchy carb um it's going to be different than the jicama this has a sweet taste to it a potato does not um but you know just learning about carbohydrates and not fearing them, but actually embracing them, that is really going to be your, um, your goal, right? Is you want to, you want to seek the things that are good. So I have a high sensitive sensitivity to carbs. I'm going to try to avoid anything that is going to be higher on the glycemic index, right? Like this banana, especially particularly a ripe one like this. Um, I really don't eat bananas um, anymore. And when I do, it's very, very sparingly. You know, that's something that is higher on the glycemic index. That doesn't mean I'll never eat a banana again. It just means, you know, my, my carbohydrate of choice is going to be berries, right? Great antioxidants. So that is just a little tip from me. I'm Kim Wenga. This is Emerge Fitness. You guys, I coach a lifestyle. I coach you how to fuel your body, how to feed it appropriately. And, you know, the name of the game is how to do life better and how to live life longer. Have a great day.